Hey everyone, this is Marley here with Duke Schnauzers. Welcome back to my channel. I thought I would show you guys how I take care of my mamas um, right after they've given birth. So this is Persephone. She gave birth yesterday morning between 6 a.m. and like 8 a.m. Um, she had her puppies and everybody's doing good. And what I like to do at this point is obviously you should be monitoring your, your mama dogs all day long throughout the day. You really shouldn't be leaving them alone with the puppies at all these first few days. Um, this is Perry's fourth litter so she knows what to do she's very good with her puppies um just have a little bit of a milk issue but we're getting through it huh. so what we do here at duke schnauzers is we have actual lists here that go week by week so this is it's called duke's daily dues as you can see this one is for perry i have one for each mama i also have a correlating list like this for my puppies but of course the list for puppies is different so whenever a mama has given birth the things you're going to want to look for at this point is how they're acting. Are they shaking? Are they panting too much? Are they twitching? These are all signs of low calcium, which can cause preeclampsia and eclampsia, which can be fatal to dogs. So Perry actually has been on a calcium gluconate sup uh, supplement since she was maybe about a week or so before delivery, just because her milk didn't come in super strong. So Perry had her puppies and um, about, I'd say about eight hours after that, I gave her a good bath. I didn't want to, um, you know, stress her out too much or get her wet or anything like that. So she's had a bath, she's had a trim, and she's groomed perfectly for taking care of puppies. So the first thing that I'm going to do for my mama is I'm going to pick them up and I'm going to look at the back end, look at her vulva. Um, dogs can have different amounts of bleeding at this point. Some dogs, it can be quite a bit. Other dogs, not so much. Perry really doesn't bleed that much. She's an excellent whelper. She pops those puppies out and the placenta comes right along with it. She does a really good job. Um, so not nothing concerning back there. You want to see if there's any odor back there. Um, at two days post birth, you really wouldn't expect any signs of infection. Um, unless there was like a retained puppy, um, even retained placenta, you're probably looking at more a few days out. Now, for all of my girls, I prophylactically give them a moxiclav for seven days after they whelp just to prevent any infection. These are dogs, they're not as clean as humans, so you know, we just want to make sure that we keep her healthy. The next thing that I'm going to do for her, because she looks great, she's panting, but it is hot in here and she's okay, her temperature is fine. Um, I'm going to roll her over. I'm going to start with the cleanest area first, okay? And here's her belly. I'm going to see if I can turn her towards you. There you go. You could see her. Here's her belly. Her milk is still coming in. And I'm going to just carefully check her for any hard lumps or anything red, something that seems painful because we want to check for mastitis. And then I'm going to take my paper towel, which I have sprayed down with a diluted chlorhexidine, and I'm going to actually wipe her teats, wipe her chest, her belly get into those creases because we don't want that getting to the puppies okay all right so that's done and then I'm gonna take my other one here and I'm gonna spray it a bit more with some chlorhexidine and kind of smush it around and then back here I'm actually going to clean her vulva wiping down and being very gentle just to get off that discharge just to make sure we stay clean. We don't want any infection in there. And I can also really see what she's got going on back there. She doesn't seem to mind too much. She looks good. Then I'm also gonna do a quick swipe of her anus. We do that for um, mama dogs and then also puppies at um, starting at three and a half, four weeks of age, just because it helps to prevent any coccidia, parasites, stuff like that. So since I've already wiped down her belly, I'm going to get my, and that's had time to dry, I'm gonna get a, a paper towel that's wet and I'm just going to rinse it. I'm gonna get all that chlorhexidine off because she has puppies who are nursing and so I don't want um, them to ingest that chlorhexidine. And then lastly, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take my comb here and I'm just gonna give her a little brush because they tend to get matted. They get um, droppings stuck in their fur and it becomes uncomfortable. So I just wanna give her a nice little brush, make sure she's okay. She looks pretty good. And that's it. Oops, sorry girl. 
So that's it, that's what we do. And I'm gonna do this every day and then I do a little check off on my list and that's just one of the things that makes us special here at Duke Schnauzers. All right guys, have a good day.